Good evening from San Ignacio Town. With the 9 o'clock news, I am Patrick Jones. A traffic accident on a George Price Highway last night has left two men injured. It happened just after 7 o'clock last night at the entrance to San Jose Socots village and involved a pickup truck and a motorcycle. Police have not yet released details on the incident, but we have gathered so far is that the injured men are Joe Duarte and Mark Rosado, who sustain varying degrees of injury. The men remain hospitalized and police investigations are continuing. The scarlet macaw is a magnificent bird, but the species found exclusively in the Chiquibul forest of South of southwestern Belize is under serious pressure. The survival of the parrot species that some refer to as the Maya macaw because of the exclusive location is being systematically poached by Guatemalans for sale on the black market. Conservationist Rafael Manzanero, who is the executive director of Friends for Conservation and Development, has his sights set on giving these colorful birds a fighting chance at survival and he's taking his conservation effort all the way to Taipei, Taiwan. Earlier this week, Manzanero spoke with us about his efforts. The trip to Taiwan really comes about as, uh, as an invite from the Taiwanese um, you know, ambassador here in Belize. Um, and the idea has been for us really to start to promote more about our work. And also I'll be taking um, a proposal out you know, to them, to the Forest Bureau in Taiwan. Um, hopefully that they might be able to support the conservation of scarlet macaws. Manzanero says efforts need to be taken immediately to cut down on the poaching of the scarlet macaws if they are to survive in the Chiquibul. Um, we actually started the, the program of monitoring of scarlet macaws in the Chiquibul. Um, some five years ago, um, you know, from the time that the subspecies, which is the one that we f that we find here in the area of Chiquibul, uh, we realized that that species has always been found in very small numbers. In fact, you know, over the research done over the years by Sharon Matol of the Belize Zoo, um, it shows that there would be about 100 pairs of macaws left which is a very unique species. In fact, you know, some people have, have recommended that it should be called the Maya macaw because it's only found around this part of the world, basically. Now, the idea is now really to look at those in um, that population and be able to revamp or to restock that population. Um, the theft of scarlet macaws over the years has been really dramatic. Um, I mean, not by the Belizean the public, because it's really far distant, uh, but more so by, once again, by poachers coming in from Guatemala. So we have had really some years when up to 84% of the population, in, if we look at a number along the Chalio, that we would lose as a result of theft. So the population is so dramatically low that it practically can disappear in a couple of years. According to Manzanero, action needs to be taken sooner rather than later to protect the scarlet macaws. One is to continue the biomonitoring program, basically to have people on the ground, always, 24 hours, for seven months. And that's through only observing and being able to ensure that nobody is around those nests. But secondly, which is the important part now that we want to inject into, is to be able to take the chicks at risk and to bring them down and put them in a lab where then we can do an in situ the conservation program to hand rear them inside of a lab and to make them really much more um, actually to grow and then to, you know, to train them to be able to fly inside of a flight cage and then for their eventual release. And by doing that, we feel that we can have um, a better population of, of, of these animals over the years. Um, and, you know, and so that is really the, the program that we are hoping to do. And thankfully, the Forest Department has endorsed that. So the proposition that we are carrying to Taiwan is hopefully that they might be able to support us on that other phase of the program. Um, it's important to note that scarlet macaws, um, they only breed. They are only known to breed in the Chiquibon. So that's a very, very important you know, habitat for the macaws. 
Rafael Manzanero is scheduled to leave for Taiwan this weekend and hopefully he will return with some good news for his conservation efforts to save the scarlet macaws. 25-year-old Emmanuel Willoughby's run for freedom from prison ended in a hail of gunfire last night in Belize City. Police say they intercepted Willoughby around 7.30 last night on Arlington Drive during routine operations. Superintendent Gilberto Romero today gave reporters the details of the capture of Willoughby. The other shooting uh, involved uh, Emmanuel Willoughby, who escaped from the Forsyth Foundation. Uh, police again uh, launched an operation in the Arlington Drive area where he was found. As a result, he was uh, apprehended and he was shot to the leg and to the arm. Sir, there is reports that he committed a crime in Kaya. Do you have? Yeah, he's wanted in uh, Kaya for a robbery and a, an aggravated burglar. So as soon as he recovers, he uh, will be taken to Kaya where the investigation there will, will decide whether he will be charged there in Kaya. The information was that he was hiding out there? Um, yeah, he was, he was hiding in Kaya and, and we had received information that he came to Belize City uh, yesterday. So the, in, in, the injuries he sustained, I presume, were while were, were police were trying to, to bring him in, no? Yes, yeah, he, he resisted, and resisted and had uh, refused to surrender. As a result, he they, uh, saw some black object and as a result, he was shot. Willoughby escaped from the Belize Central Prison late last year and is believed to have been involved in a number of criminal activities in the San Ignacio area in the last couple of weeks. According to authorities, he is wanted here in Cayo for uh, burglary and for aggravated robbery. He remains on the police guard at the KHMH. Belize City Police have detained a 16-year-old boy pending investigations for the shooting of 36-year-old Jason Williams. Williams was shot to the right leg and right hand around 9 o'clock last night on Fairweather Street. The head of the Crimes Investigations Branch at Eastern Division, Superintendent Gilberto Romero, spoke with reporters today about the shooting. Yeah, on Tuesday, the 27th of January, around 9.15 p.m., Police responded to a report of a shooting incident on Fairweather Street. They then visited the Carlshaw Memorial Hospital where they saw Jason Williams, 36 years, with a gunshot wound to the leg and a gunshot wound to the arm. Uh, he was admitted to the KHMH in a stable condition. The information is he was uh, sitting down at an area on Fairweather Street across the bridge. When a male person approached and fired several shots at his direction, causing the injuries to him. Sir, did the, the victim give police any information as to the identity of the shooter? Well, at, uh, he is admitted, and our officers are, are recording statements. And there is one person in, uh, in custody, and at the end of the investigation, we will determine if anyone uh, can be charged. So is as noted earlier, police have detained a 16-year-old boy pending investigation. And while reporters were talking with Superintendent uh, Gilberto Romero this afternoon, they also got an update about a shooting incident in Hattieville Village and about the stolen ammunition from the Belize Defense Force. Yeah, again, an investigation was, was, uh, well, has been conducted. Uh, several statements have been recorded, but at this time we cannot uh, identify who the shooter is and the investigation continues for that. We have nobody in custody for that shooting. Have you all been able to, based on your investigation and speaking with the victim, able to identify what, what may be a possible reason for his shooting? Well, we, we, um, the, the victim is, uh, is still in a critical condition, uh, but there were other persons in the area where the shooting occurred, but again, we cannot establish the identity of the, the shooter at this time. Uh, critical, but still. In relation to the theft of ammunition at, um, well, in possession of the GDF, are you able to speak on that? Again, that investigation is ongoing. Um, several statements have been recorded. Uh, interviews are being conducted, but at this time we have no one in custody for that burglary. 
That was the head of the Crimes Investigations Branch at uh, Eastern Division, Superintendent Hilberto Romero. And we'll have more of the day's stories right after these messages. Precision handling. High performance braking. Smooth and comfortable ride. Tame the road. Hand cook tires. My dad never misses a football match. Me neither. Are you enjoying this game or what? I'm loving every minute of it. I can't miss this game, but I can't see it either. Here, now you can. The game's on me. Now, wherever there's internet, you don't have to miss a single minute of TV. And the best part of my TV is it costs as little as $10 monthly for Central TV and Internet's customers. With 25 channels at your fingertips, you'll always be tuned in. My TV is available only at Central TV and Internet. Log on and discover a new world of mobile TV. Hey, do you happen to have a beer? We all have our bucket list and plan to start fulfilling them someday. Anytime now, don't worry babe, you can do it. Go mom, you can do this! Why not turn someday into today with an easy credit personal loan? Atlantic Bank can make it happen. We offer loans at competitive interest rates with low monthly payments for all your financing needs. Because life should be easy. How was it, Mom? It was good. Atlantic Bank, <laughs> building the future together. When I exercise, I do only the most rigorous and complex techniques to challenge my body and keep it at its best. When I am building my body strength, I go for the heavy weights to keep my muscles challenged. When I prepare my meals, I make sure everything is fresh and tap into all my food groups. When I need internet service, I use smart Zoom service to ensure reliability and speed. I am Rigo Veos, two-time Mr. Belize. I use only the best. I choose smart and so should you. In conjunction with Unibam, today hosted a rights inclusion conference at the Radisson Fort George Hotel in Belize City. 
The purpose of the conference, according to Caleb Orozco, was to follow up on legislation and policies that protect the rights of citizens of the LGBT community and other vulnerable populations, including those living with HIV and AIDS. We followed up with Orozco on the lengthy delay of the decision of the Supreme Court on his lawsuit related to Section 53 of the Criminal Code, which was heard in May 2013, but for which a judgment has yet to be delivered 17 months later. Orozco says that justice delayed is justice denied, not only for him, but for the vulnerable sections of the community whom this law affects. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Belize is hosting the first ever convention of members of the community in Belize on Saturday at the IT Vet compound on Freetown Road. It boasts of having the fastest growing membership among the 73 sects of Islam, which it attributes to its modern approach and emphasis on promoting and proselytizing a pure and pristine form of the religion started by the Prophet Muhammad. At a briefing with the press this morning, visiting leaders said that they distanced themselves and condemned the actions of more traditionalist Muslims in the Middle East, which have resorted to violent tactics in order to preach the religion. No, no community can uh, prosper without giving proper, the proper place to a woman. A woman. The Holy Prophet said paradise lies under the foot of the mother. We don't say that is under the foot of the father, but rather said that the that paradise lies under the foot of the mother. So it's, uh, Islam has given great uh, respect. I used to massage the feet of my mother, and why I used to pray to Allah, to God, that God paradise lies under her feet. He is uh, so benevolent. And so, this uh, conception that Islam is against women, uh, against the rights of women, is totally wrong. The Holy Quran has repeatedly said that in the sight of Allah, both are equal. They have different functions, they have different things. Uh, a man cannot conceive, a woman can conceive. So, there are different functions, no doubt about it. But as far as before God the Almighty, these leaders say that uh, these actions are completely against the beliefs and teachings of Islam and those who are frequently seen on television as suicide bombers and killers are not true Muslims. They also say that the religion teaches respect for women and their rights to be equal partners at home and in the society. A small, minute uh, number of uh, the uh, Muslims uh, who have who are engaged in terrorist activities. The perception about the, all of the Muslims is becoming that they are extremists, they are terrorists. This is not true at all. And unfortunately, the media is uh, strengthening this uh, wrong perception. Whenever an atrocity is committed by a Muslim, he is called a Muslim terrorist, or she is called a Muslim terrorist. But then a similar activity is committed by an Irish Christian, he is only an Irish. So you can see the, uh, the, the difference in which the media is playing up the perception that all the Muslims are uh, extremists. While uh, there are uh, uh, extremists in uh, Almost uh, every uh, community, uh, unfortunately, we also have some extremists, but they are not doing this because Islam teaches them. No, no religion, not to speak of Islam, teaches violence in the name of God or for any purpose. The Ahmadiyya sect believes that another Messiah, one Hazrat Ghulam Ahmed, has arrived to lead the followers of Islam back to a pure path. While he died in 1907, his followers, which number in the tens of millions worldwide, continue to believe in him and promote his view of the religion. 
The convention this Saturday starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and all are invited. Three years ago, Belize City uh, resident Ellis Ortiz was stabbed six times while trying to leave the scene of a domestic argument. Today, his attacker, 34-year-old Nathaniel Thomas Jr., pleaded guilty to a charge of dangerous harm in the courtroom of Supreme Court Justice Troa de Gonzalez. He will serve four years in prison after Justice Gonzalez agreed to his plea in mitigation that time served on remand of three years be subtracted from his sentence. The charge carries a sentence of seven years in prison. Around 7.30 p.m. on January 22, 2015, Ortiz was in the company of a woman at her Antelope Street Extension residence when a man's voice called to the woman from the back of the yard. Immediately recognizing the voice as that of Thomas, the father of her child, she went to the back of the yard and returned with Thomas in tow. He walked toward Ortiz even as the woman's grandmother ordered him off the premises. Ortiz said he decided to leave to avoid any argument, but before he could do so, he was stabbed in the left side of the abdomen. A struggle began and Ortiz sustained five more wounds before a bystander intervened and wrestled the knife from Thomas after a brief struggle. Ortiz was treated and his injuries medically classified as dangerous harm. Thomas did not have an attorney and Crown Counsel Kiliru Awich prosecuted. 57-year-old Dennis Gabriel, a Belize City businessman and taxi operator, was charged with rape and grievous harm of his former common-law wife, but he was only convicted of the latter charge today, after a jury of seven men and two women returned a unanimous verdict of guilty in the courtroom of Justice Troy de Gonzalez. The jury deliberated for two hours before announcing its unanimous verdict of guilty of grievous harm and 8 to 1 in favor of not guilty of rape. On September 19, 2003, according to the complainant, who was a nurse at the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital at the time of the incident, she got off from work and met Gabriel in the parking lot and asked him for a ride to her home. However, he drove her to the hangar area near the seaside next to the municipal airstrip and raped her. Later in the day after uh, she took her kids to school, Gabriel visited her house and she tried to prevent him from coming in through the back door, but he forced his way in. When she tried to call for help from her veranda, he pulled her inside and she lost consciousness shortly thereafter. She came to only to find herself bleeding. Speaking from the dock, Gabriel admitted to intercourse with the complainant but claimed it was consensual. He explained the fall as the result of her attacking him and he moving out of the way. The first trial also saw a conviction which was overturned on appeal at the Court of Appeal, which ordered a retrial. The retrial was aborted over prejudicial evidence and a third trial was ordered. Crown Counsel Kileru Awich prosecuted and Senior Counsel Simeon Samson was Gabriel's defense counsel. The news on the national channel will continue with a weather summary after these messages. Precision handling. High performance braking. Smooth and comfortable ride. Tame the road. Hand cooked tires. Me neither. Are you enjoying this game or what? I'm loving every minute of it. I can't miss this game. But I can't see it either. Here, now you can. The game's on me. Now, wherever there's internet, 
you don't have to miss a single minute of TV. And the best part of my TV is it costs as little as $10 monthly for Central TV and Internet's customers. With 25 channels at your fingertips, you'll always be tuned in. My TV is available only at Central TV and Internet. Log on and discover a new world of mobile TV. Hey, do you happen to have a beer? We all have our bucket list and plan to start fulfilling them someday. Anytime now, don't worry babe, you can do it. Go mom, you can do this! Why not turn someday into today with an easy credit personal loan? Atlantic Bank can make it happen. We offer loans at competitive interest rates with low monthly payments for all your financing needs. Because life should be easy. How was it, Mom? It was good. Atlantic Bank, <laughs> building the future together. When I exercise, I do only the most rigorous and complex techniques to challenge my body and keep it at its best. When I am building my body strength, I go for the heavy weights to keep my muscles challenged. When I prepare my meals, I make sure everything is fresh and tap into all my food groups. When I need internet service, I use smart Zoom service to ensure reliability and speed. I am Rigo Veos, two-time Mr. Belize. I use only the best. I choose smart and so should you. To end the news, a reminder of the main points again. Conservationist Rafael Manzanero is looking for help to save the endangered scarlet macaw. Manzanero is headed to Taiwan to make a presentation on Belize's efforts to protect these magnificent birds. And escaped prisoner Emmanuel Willoughby has been recaptured. Police caught the 25-year-old man last night in Belize City. He was injured during the recapture. With the headlines, we end this edition of the 9 o'clock news. Our news lines remain open at all times and you can visit.